Hi everyone, this is me, Isabel, with another video for you. In today's video, I actually wanted to talk about my kitty, my Bengal kitty, Princess. So, in this video, I just wanted to, and Princess, she's just pretty much moving around and want to be with me all the time and just be on my computer. But in this video, I wanted to talk about having a Bengal. This is actually a different type of breed, meaning um, it's not just like a regular cat. Uh, the breed is very active. So just wanted to talk a little bit about it. If you are out there and you're trying, kind of like wondering about if you want to have a Bengal cat and you know, if what, what, how is it like? Uh, and this is actually, I've, been, I've had Princess for about almost two months. So now I can give you a better idea of how it is to live with a Bengal cat. If you like my video, please hit like uh, and subscribe to my channel for more videos to come. But um, pretty much what I will suggest to you if you're looking into having a Bengal to really do a lot of research. You have to do a lot of research because you need to learn about the breed. It's actually just not, they are very beautiful animals, very beautiful cats, but because of their, how they look. They look like little tigers. They actually, they, they are, you know, their, their spots are beautiful. Now, I recommend that you learn about it and that's kind of what I did we, when I was so intrigued by the breed. I really liked them and I was just like, I want to learn more about it. Uh, not just because of the way they look, but why I chose to have a Bengal cat was because they're very active. Uh, they're almost like dogs, but they're not. Like, they're just, they just want to be with you. Well, at least my cat, she is very active. She wants to be with me. She likes to play. She's just like a little dog and it's going to require a lot of time and attention. So I would suggest to really uh, learn about the breed, read about them, what, um, what kind of foods they eat, uh, learn about do they get sick, uh, learn about, you know, how are they in daily, you know, just reading about it. And I did that. I did a lot of like YouTube videos, watching other uh, people having Bengals and also like just reading online about the breed. So that will be my first thing that you need to understand. Another thing is that the common thing that you're going to find with Bengal cats is that they require a lot more time. Well, like I think more time than a regular cat. Uh, of course, they're not going to be like a dog that you, you know, you, you can't be living for too long for dogs, right? Not too many hours uh, because they're going to miss you and they're going to cry and stuff like that. With my princess, she does miss and cry, but it's like I can still leave her when I go to work and things like that. But they are very, they require, you know, they're very playful. So they will be playing with everything. Like princess likes to bite paper and I have to watch that she doesn't swallow that so it's just gonna require more of your time so I would say once you learn about the breed uh, figure it out you know if this is the type of cat that you want uh, I also will say do a lot of research finding a breeder uh, it took me quite some time to find a, the breeder that I wanted because I want to make sure that the person that I was gonna get my cat from was someone that really cared about the, 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 the animal, about the cat, and it was just not about making money or just trying to breed them. I really wanted someone that really truly cared, so, and I pretty much kind of like uh, contact different people, and I just, I decided for one breeder that was very, very loving, she loves her cats, and I can tell that she really likes to do, to, to, breed, uh, to breed them. So just learn about, you know, find a breeder that is going to be someone good. And I found mine through the website, it's called Tika website. Uh, they are registered, uh, you know, they are registered breeders and I just kind of contact a lot of them and then I found one. So that was kind of what I, you know, uh, and it was in out of state, it was, it's in Florida, the breeder. So I didn't care because I was really willing to put the time for my cat for just because I was really ready. So also another thing, you have to make sure that you're ready for that type of pet because you know it's gonna require your time and if you don't have that time to give to your cat, it's not gonna be as much fun and your cat is not gonna enjoy it. I think um, I mentioned to you that they're very playful so you wanna make sure that you, you know, uh, play with them and that's the thing, sometimes I'm like working and she's like right on me and she just wants to play, play, play. And I have to make sure that I kind of make some time for her to play with, you know, and just be with her. Um, another thing is that she, uh, well, with, with my experience, uh, you can totally train them to do tricks. 
Uh, you can also train them to, to go out with you. I personally want to train my, my cat to be with me, to take her uh, when I travel, when I go outside and I go to a store. I have taken princess to different places, uh, to a store, to a restaurant. Gotta make sure I find a restaurant that is gonna be okay with her or eating outside. But I wanna take her with me because during the week, usually Monday to Thursday, I'm working, so I just don't wanna leave her at home by herself. So I wanna take her with me and she's kind of been getting used to. Uh, first, she's kind of shy, but uh, I also found other ways that I can carry her. Like I found a really good, uh, a, little, a really good bag that I can carry her with me and she just stays with me the whole time. And you know, it's fun. Uh, I, you can take her with you. They, they, the, those are the, that breed, the Bengal breed, it's the type of breed that you can, you will be able to do that. But again, it's something that your cat has to be okay with that. Uh, if your cat is not okay with that, then I would say don't do it because you are gonna force the cat to do something that the cat doesn't like. Uh, make sure that, you know, another thing is make sure that you're taking your cat to the bed making sure everything is good. And in terms of uh, diet, do your research. Uh, I, do, I do feed my cat raw, raw food, uh, a mix of raw food and canned food. So I did also a lot of reading and a lot of research on that. And I found for myself, for my cat, I choose to do that. But I don't make it my own. I actually high, uh, pay for a company that I found and, and actually it's Darwin that I use and they're really good. They have everything prepared. And I just, I personally like them because they are kind of the Bengals. I wouldn't say, well, they're wild, they are domestic cats, but I feel like uh, from what I've learned is that the raw food, it's more adapt, it's more fitting to what the cat is because cats are kind of carnivores. So they should be eating meat and, you know, up to the most, the raw that, that will be. And that's my take on that. But yeah, so I would say, yeah, make sure that you do research. It takes time, you know, to learn all these things. But if you're really willing to, to take the time and do it, it, they are amazing. I love my cat because she just follows me everywhere. <laughs> she just wants to be with me wherever I go. It's like I go to a restaurant, she's there. Uh, you know, she just wants to be next to me. And I, even though sometimes she's like, you know, on my computer and stuff, I, I have to understand that, you know, she's just a little kitty and she just wants to be with me. Another thing is that when I'm teaching classes uh, online, she's just doing things with me and it's just, you know, something that I, I tell my students, I apologize for the cat, but you know, that's what she does. Uh, so uh, yeah, and uh, last thing that I was going to say about it, uh, you know, just enjoy them, have fun. I am actually going to be getting another Bengal just because I want her to uh, have company. Now you don't have to have another Bengal, uh, you can get another just a regular cat or just a rescue. Uh, that would be also good, but I personally, um, I feel with her personality, uh, I think it will be best if she has the same type of breed because Bengals tend to be bigger and I personally don't want... Uh, princess to be abusing the smaller cat because the regular cats are not as big as the Bengal cat. So, uh, I mean, it's not that they're huge, but I just don't want her, you know, I just, I've, I've seen videos on YouTube that the Bengals kind of abuse the other breeds, the other type of cats, and I'm like, I don't want that for a cat. Uh, you know, if whenever you choose this is your pet and you want to keep your pet and for, until they die, right? because you don't want to get rid of them. So you really have to make sure that you're going to keep, no matter what happens in your life, you're going to keep your cat and it's going to be with you, the cat is going to be with you till the last time. You know, I also research in terms of insurance, if you want to get insurance. Um, I also have done research on that. I think for me personally, I do prefer to have it because you never know once that problem comes and it's a lot of money you have to pay, the insurance will cover it. So I hope you found this video to be helpful. Uh, and yeah, so thank you for watching and if you like the video, please hit like. See you soon.